Hi there. Thanks for tuning in to Make This Happen, where we discuss an idea we've been dying to see come alive. Every week, my friend, J.E., and myself, Alex Gonzalez, will bring you a product you never knew you needed. Now let's get started with air fryers. Particularly, we need to go big on the air fryer revolution. People have been talking about increased volume for air fryers. People have been talking about um, increased power for air fryers. People have been talking about maybe making air fryers outdoors. And I think those are all great ideas. But let me just go ahead and propose to you that maybe we make an air fryer that's an all-in-one breakfast academy kind of thing. Let's do an air fryer where you can do eggs. There's another drawer where you can put in hash browns, different temperature. Another drawer where you can put in the sausage, different temperature. And then there's a little slide on the, uh, a little uh, two inserts on the side where you can put in your fucking tails, just cha-ching, cha-ching. And everything just gets done all in one box right here. Um, so will it blow your fuses? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't I don't own an air fryer and I don't really know how they work. Uh, so you an, you have an air fryer. Can you give me a quick so what what's fr- what's your air fryer meal that you go to to use it and how does it work? Tell me that. So my air fryer mirror meal, geez, mirror that I go to is homemade chicken nuggets and they're actually chicken breast nuggets so what i do is i chop up chicken breasts into about the same size i then uh douse them in olive oil in a bag and i go ahead and make sure that the olive oil is evenly distributed then i go ahead and put a little bit of cajun seasoning in that chicken so now this chicken has olive oil and cajun seasoning then what i'll do is i'll get some breadcrumbs and i'll coat the chicken and the breadcrumbs evenly throughout And then I'll lay it on a center where there's about a grate, like a frying grate that you would dip into frying oil, but instead it's a basket. And I put the chicken evenly in a layer onto the air fryer. And then you can either preheat the air fryer or just put it in there and turn it on. And in about 10 minutes, voila, I have chicken nuggets. Healthy chicken nuggets that have been flavored with olive oil and breading. What's up? Second question. What does an air fryer... So you say it's like a... a basket that looks like what you would put in a regular uh deep fryer uh, deep fat deep fryer, fryer. Mm-hmm. and so you put this this basket into what i imagine looks like those those press grills that cook from the top and bottom evenly you know what i mean but you it's put it more, into this basket yeah and it's more like an oven in there that whips mm, around mm. heat very fast that crips crisps things okay i have also um made in my time i have also made wow i used to know the words and then i don't filipino egg rolls that are all meat small you're you're not i'm not gonna be able to help you i've never i've only eaten and then i've also done um um pot stickers in the air fryer fried them up that sounds good that sounds good um, and then I've even gone so far as to get chicken wings and fry those up. But what I propose to you today is um, I'd like to make a meal. Instead yeah. of putting these ingredients um, and wait, I would like there to be two different drawers. So that yeah. one drawer you can have independent of two different temperatures. So you could make a chicken nugget and French fry meal. Yeah, You can make okay. um, hash browns and then whatever toast. So it it kind of works the way that I expected it, what I imagined an air fryer to work like. And so what I see and how I see your product being manufactured is this. Uh, I don't know how most air fryers work, but I, I want to make it look like, let's make it look like, in my head, it looks like a conventional oven. Right, a small miniature oven um, with a fully digitized face, right? The the UI is fully digitized, and it's going to be, you open it like conventional opens, so there's like a, a, a handle on the top of the clear face plate. You bring it down, and then you have trays that come out, right? Yep. But mm-hmm. between these two trays, there's going to be a clear divider and this will be cut into halves uh this can be the top and bottom and when you have the fryer up right below where the the oven is cut in half by a uh divider 
there's going to be its own UI that says temperature uh, anywhere between 350 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can adjust independently the top and the bottom to whatever temperature you, that you would like. And that is the temperature that will cook at the top and bottom, and it will be independent from each other. That way, you can have two different temperatures, one at 350, one at 425. The 425 is cooking your steak. The 350 is cooking your French fries and your um, whatever, uh, asparagus, your, your Brussels can, yeah, sprouts yeah, or whatever. Yeah, grill it. Yeah, some asparagus. Hell yeah. Yeah. And and I just the reason why I say it's only in two, you were talking about like four or five different compartments. I think that's just gonna start looking ridiculous. Obviously, I don't know what a I was air thinking fryer really like a like. six C D disc changer. Where Is that how air fryers around? work though? Where it's like <laughs> that thin? Like you could get it that nah, thin? Uh I think it, no. In reality, I and imagine also, it being do you about think heat, seven inches. Huh? Right. But like would heat heat will bleed through i think it, oh, it's a hot little so machine thin. um yeah it would be hard to do maybe you'd have to put in plates similar to what someone does as a magician more it's like a heat plate that you just slide in yeah right. but but with two separate distinct layers and maybe the divider would have to be pretty significant i think we can have two temperatures going and it be consistent and not bleed into each other. You know what I'm saying? Whereas say if you so. had where if you had four or five or six, it will start being it doesn't even matter what the temperature you put in. It's gonna be whatever the highest one is because it's just gonna bleed into the other yeah. ones. And I also want to do this. One of the features of our air fryer is that if one dish is ready before the other, let's say one takes 10 minutes, the other one takes 15, there will be an auto warming feature that you can enable so that both dishes are done at the same time. So that you Just, can have... Hmm? No, keep going. Sorry. So that you can have your dish be warm so you don't take out your fries yeah. if they're done before your main course and then your fries get cold exposed to the environment. Just to make it realistic, I think that... There is a timer function, and once the timer goes down, that is when it switches to the keep warm function. Just because an air fryer is not going to know on its own, oh, this chicken's done cooking, I should probably put it to low heat. You put in the timer, timer for 15 yeah. minutes or whatever, and then after 15 minutes elapses, you, it, the oven will go down to keep warm. And you could have that function on. Maybe it's a button, keep warm. If you press it on after the timer's out, it goes to that function automatically. But if you don't press it, it just turns off. You know now, what I mean? Yeah, and I want there to be another couple things. I want um, the plating. So, you know, there's going to be a catch-all where you put your food in, and there's going to be a uh, plating. I want that plating to snap off so it's, easy, so it's easily cleaned. So it's like four plates that snap in and create a container. So it'd be eight plates in total. So imagine, let me make sure I'm doing this right. It'd actually be five plates. So there'd be the walls and then the bottom of each thing. Because right now in my air fryer, I have a frying cage and a container in which it goes in, which is basically imagine uh, a bowl that's more like a hollowed box. Instead, why would you need I want so many? Why would you need so many plates? Why wouldn't it just be two plates? Or you could do two plates, however it wants. I just want there to be, I want them to be removable for one so that they can be soaked and for two so that they can go in a dishwasher. Because mm, unfortunately mm, with mm, air frying mm. foods, it's usually foods that are stuffed. Croquettes, potato balls, you know, pizza rolls, things that um, under increased temperature and pressure can open blow up, up. Yeah. and blow up. Exactly. So I want something that's easily cleanable as well. Because the one thing about the air fryer is it's a big device and i live in an apartment where my sink is small mm -hmm. that being said uh another thing i imagine i don't know if this is the thing that you have to worry about air fryers but i imagine it is let's say these plates are i want to say these plates are not grilled in terms that they have 
just iron lines that separate. But I want to say every few bits, there's like uh, maybe what it is is the plates are formed more like there's the walls. So it's like a bowl with walls. It's flat on the surface, but it's not super flat. There's like a smart indentation that draws everything towards one hole in the middle. Or maybe there's two holes in two different middles. And the the, the purpose of these indentations kind of sloping downwards to these holes is so all the grease that might come out of your food will come out and drip below onto a different tray. So altogether, there's going to be four plates, one to hold the food and one as literally just a grease trap. And after every time you cook, you pull that grease trap, throw away the grease with a paper towel, just throw it away, and then you wash that and then put it back in. And it's literally just to catch juices, fats, what have you. Or you take that juice, put in the next dish on a, uh, on a pan and stir fry your vegetables in it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's <laughs> yeah, what you really want. Yeah, I know what you're really saying. Now you're cooking with, with, uh, gas. with, with fat. <laughs> with fat. All right. So some other things I'd want included would be uh, timers, temperatures. Also, what would be really great is if you press chicken, I'd want to do it by weight. So let's say you want to air fry a steak and you say by weight, you put the steak in there and it'll say detected one pound. All right. It sets the temperature and sets the time. So you want to scale in there? Yep. Sure. Why not? I love it. Anything else you have to add? I mean, I don't even own an, an air fryer, so this Will already you now? makes cooking easy. Sure. I mean, my girlfriend always wanted an air fryer. It's it's on the it's on the list of stuff. All right, we have your committal. Samsung, make this happen. Thanks for listening. <laughs> if you have any suggestions or products you'd like to see talked about, feel free to write it at Pound Games. At wait, wait, real quick. What brand is your air fryer? Oh fuck. Um... It's not Samsung though, is it? <laughs> you calling me out like this on air? Let me check. <laughs> Alex is going to go check. Does Samsung make an air fryer? That is the question. If they did, right. I got I got the brand. So uh, mine is New Wave. So I don't even New think Wave. it is a brand. Yeah, yeah. N U W A V E. The thing is, if Samsung, do they have an air fryer? I don't know. I just want the jingle at the end. Ba-ding, ding, 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 and you're like, my food's done. Yeah, and then yeah. you take it out. Ba-ding. If if Samsung were ever to make an air fryer, if they don't have one already, they'd probably make this product. Like, it wouldn't even be like an app. This is the product that they would actually and make. And their commercial would be so wholesome. Yeah. Yeah. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to join the Pound family, come find us at patreon.com slash we are not game devs. Patrons receive episodes two days early, meaning make this happen gets to your ears that much sooner. If you enjoyed our show, take a second, give it a review. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play Store, and more. Catch you guys next Sunday with Jay's brilliant idea. Sense. What? Sense. Sense? Or smell. Smell. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sense. Sense. We're going hard on sense. I actually just put in some airwaves into my home. Fragrances. 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 Well, if we could supercut all of the things you pronounce wrong in these podcasts, no, abdomen, dude. abomination, smorgasbord. You, you didn't even know. Sense. I can't. <laughs> words are hard, man. English. I just figure I take the positive route when I'm talking with somebody like you and I say they must read a lot of books because they know big words that they don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> 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 that's actually really funny it's just it's it's what i think oh that's hilarious actually all right let's stop it there all right